Uh, speaking of that whole state and local uh, tax uh, deduction, uh, and then removing it, a guy would be directly affected. Uh, New York Republican Congressman Chris Collins. Congressman, very good to have you back. Yeah, good to be with you, Neil. How doable is that? How do you feel about that? That would directly impact your constituents. Now, that you have to weigh whether the overall package itself compensates for that and they get back more than they have to lose. What do you say? Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, New York is the highest taxed, uh, most regulated state in the nation, and there, there may be an issue here. We're going to have to look at the numbers. I represent Western New York, which is actually one of the more impoverished uh, sections of the state. Uh, it's certainly not uh, Westchester or Long Island. And the doubling of the standard deduction, Neil, may well, as we've understood, we've got to look at the numbers, could mean that less than 5% of my constituents will even itemize deductions. And if that's the case, that by doubling the standard deduction, uh, they're going to take that standard deduction, well, that's very uh, different. Because that could uh, that, be up to 24000 for a couple. Um, correct. That, that's a big deal. So this is all a moot point, this other stuff, right? And, and you know, I am more focused than ever, as, as everyone else is, on the 3% plus economic growth, the 20% corporate rate, 25% on pass-throughs, subchapter S. Most right. small businesses that are going to be creating jobs in the future are, in fact, uh, pass-throughs, whether they're sub-S, LLCs, or partnerships. And that economic growth is going to benefit all Americans with more demand uh, for labor, supply and demand. Wages uh, should definitely go up. Uh, folks will be dropping off of the need for food stamps and other entitlement programs. Uh, it's a multiplier when it comes to working on the deficit and our go debt going onward. 3% growth is magic compared to the anemic Yeah, but as you've indicated in the past, had. I know you, I, I love to go back to history with these things, which gives you an indication of how exciting I am at a party. But, you know, people forget it used to be almost commonplace for growth of at least that uh, per quarter per year. Um, so we're just not used to it. But, we, you know, maybe you well, and I are in an age where, where, where it was commonplace. But you get up to that level. I mean, you're talking an extra, you know, trillion, two trillion, three trillion in revenues over the life of these so-called tax cuts in a decade sphere that people don't appreciate. But, again, well, it, it's getting 20, to that, right? So 3% is a doubling of our economy in 24 years, the rule of 72. A 20 trillion economy goes to 40 trillion in 24 years, which may sound like a long time frame to the millennials, but to you and I, 24 years went in the snap of your fingers. Right. We have to grow our way into success, grow our way out of the financial mess we're in today with 100% debt to GDP. It's well, that's the argument that you're going to have to note out, man. I know you have been making that argument. Do you think that this is, as Speaker Ryan uh, seemed to indicate in his uh, briefing today, sir, that it is going to get done this year, all the kvetching back and forth, it's going to get done yeah, I do. this year? You do? I do. The, the Freedom Caucus yesterday, uh, you know, which is our most far-right uh, right. conservatives, they came out in support of the framework. Indeed they did. And uh, so we don't have the same emotion, to use that word, tied to tax reform that we did have with health care reform. Everyone hates the IRS. Everyone knows our tax code <laughs> is way too complicated. So the emotion is not, is not in this. We just need the hard numbers, the data, to show the average American is going to save $650 a year they can spend for whatever they want to spend small businesses at a significantly lower rate are going to be investing in new technology and product development etc cetera, etc cetera. and we're going to go territorial where we're not going to tax exports any longer you make it in the u.s. and ship it to europe you don't pay any income tax a corporation on the monies made on that product going overseas. These are huge to get us yeah, to the economic growth that we need. There are a lot of little features in there, that, but it's, it's getting that out there, explaining and selling that. Obviously, sure. it's going to be very crucial. Um, right. Congressman Collins, thank you very, very much. Always good, good to be you. with you, Neil. Same okay. here.